Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be setting up this Cossack KP-115 smart outlet with power monitoring and home assistant. And I do want to disclose that I have received products in the past from TP-Link, the company that makes this, but I purchased this on my own. And actually, I purchased this before they had given me a previous product. Now, if you do find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So the Casa app was pretty limiting for looking at power monitoring. It had some things on it, but if you want to have charts and things like like that home assistant is a great option so you will want to set this up with the casa app but i'll plug it in here so i can get paired up with my network and we'll head over to my computer for the configuration okay so i'm logged into my home assistant i'll go to settings now if you don't see settings here scroll up it could be hidden then i'll go to devices and services i'll go to add integration and i'll just type casa i'll click tp link i'll click tp link casa smart it's asking for the host it says if you leave it empty discovery will be used to find devices so i'll hit submit So I have two devices here. These are both KP-115s. I'll pick the wreath. I'll click Submit. It found the device. We can give it an area. This is normally in our living room area. I'll hit Finish. Now I'll go to Overview. So we can see living room here, and we have the wreath. So I can turn this on or off with the switch. Then we have the current current, we have the current consumption, we have today's consumption, total consumption, and wreath voltage. So I'm going to plug an iron into it, but first I'll turn it off. The iron is plugged in, I'll turn the switch on. So now the iron is on. We can see it's drawing 9.85 amps or 1155 watts. So we'll jump ahead here after I've let it run for a minute and we'll look at these stats. So, okay, so once it heated up, it turned off, but I cranked it up so it clicked back on. So let me click on the current current. Okay, so with this chart here, you can see when it turned on, you can see when it turned off. So this was only on 10 seconds to heat it up to temperature. And then when I triggered it again, you can see how many amps it drew. So let's go back. So here we're gonna have a similar chart. We can go to today's consumption and this will be a little stair step here. So as time goes on, this will go up, and this is on per day. And this is total consumption. So if you want to do something like track how much electricity your TV is using over a month, you can use this, and then we have voltage here also. So we can see when this clicks on, the voltage goes down. So it goes from 120 to 117. So I'll turn this off now. So with the Casa KP-115, you have a smart outlet that you can turn on and off remotely, you can program it, and you can also track power consumption. You could potentially also do something like hook this up to a sump pump so you could track if your sump pump is working. Now you do want to consider that you would be putting a smart device on something that is critical and it could be a point of failure. So that may not be the best option, but you can use your own judgment. And certainly you would want to test it while you're home if you're expecting to have it set up so you can monitor it when you're away, so you can know what to expect with it. So I'm a big fan of these. I currently own two, but I may buy some more. I also have this kilowatt power meter and I do like it. It's good for certain things, but if I want to do long range tracking, I prefer this because I can have a chart and I can see when things cycle on and off. This won't do that. I'll even find myself using this temporarily with appliances just to monitor them to see how much power they use. For instance, you could plug a refrigerator into this and you could see how much power it uses on a daily basis. And you could also see what the peak wattage is. So that could help you, for instance, size a battery or a generator to run that. You could look at how much power it uses and then figure out what capacity you need. So even if this isn't the smart outlet of your choice, it can be handy to have a couple of these just for doing testing and monitoring. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.